Good evening. It's time again for Stuff God Said and wants us to keep on saying it. And for today's daily devotion, I'm going to read from Luke, uh, the fourth chapter and the uh, third to fourth verse. Then Satan said to Jesus, If you are the Son of God, tell this stone to become a loaf of bread. But Jesus told him, No, the scripture says, People do not live by bread alone. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of the word. You know, uh, Satan knew that Jesus had the power to do anything that he wanted to do. You know, we'll never be challenged with turning a rock into a loaf of bread because that's way beyond our limitations. But the point of the scripture is that Jesus had this power to claim a kingdom. And Satan was trying to tempt him, Jesus that is, tempt Jesus, to claim that kingdom in a, in a very unethical, self-serving, arrogant way. And Jesus says, no, that's not, the way, that's not the way the Father in heaven wants this work done. And it's the same that, that, that goes for us. We have choices just as Jesus had choices. And, and I know sometimes it seems difficult because, you know, just like, you know, Jesus was in the wilderness 40 days, 40 nights, and was starved, and he, he wanted to change this bread, but he, he knew that wasn't the way to do that. Often we fall, and uh, we, we have challenges that we are tempted to overcome in unethical or whatever ways, shortcuts and all that kind of stuff. But Jesus was saying to Satan, you know what? I will collect all the things that you're going to offer me, but I'll gather them without you. It'll take some blood, sweat, and tears, and even the cross. But the love of God will overcome all things, even death, into eternal life. Wow, even turning death into eternal life. And that's what we are promised too. If we follow the one who took the way of the cross, we may have blood, sweat, and tears, but we can rejoice because, you know, we may have sorrow, but we will have joy when we follow the one who took the way of the cross. We may get scarred and we may have blood, sweat, and tears in our lives, but there will also be rejoicing and celebrations if we follow the one who followed the way of the cross. That's for sure. That's a promise and a certain hope from God through the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. And that, to me, is something to celebrate. Amen.